Please welcome Bastian Spaniard, Berlin Institute for Medical Systems Biology, Max Delbruck Center for Molecular Medicine in the Helmholtz Association. Single cell lineage tracing. Every uh, organism starts from a single cell called the zygote. This zygote divides and the resulting cells divide again and again and again until the organism consists of thousands of cells. Those cells have acquired a specialization that we can understand by single cell mRNA sequencing. We then know what genes they were expressing and therefore we can say that this cell, for example, is a blood cell, this is a muscle cell, this is a neuron. What we now like to do is understand how these cells are related. Are they sisters? Are they cousins? Um, and if we know that, if we know the relationship between those cells, we can draw this whole tree, a lineage tree of the developing organism. If we know that tree, we understand development a little bit better and we can understand, for example, why it always goes along the same lines. In the Juncker lab, my colleague Bo, Bo Hu and I started out to do just that. We sequenced the single cells from a zebrafish embryo and we did Another thing, we made little genomic marks in the DNA of the cells that were inherited on cell division. When sequencing the mRNA, we also sequence these marks to see which cells are related and what they are doing. I've indicated those relationships here by connecting the cells, but after a little bit of bioinformatic work, we can make this into this developmental lineage tree. We published this together with the Ninov Lab in Dresden last year, and we were selected as part of the Science Breakthrough of the Year 2018. What I'd now like to do is use lineage tracing to understand where metastases come from. So this is a colon tumor, and colon tumors tend to metastasize to the liver. Metastases are, of course, um, lead to a very high mortality rate in patients. What I propose is that we sequence the cells from the primary tumor to understand what genes they're expressing and what their clonality is. So the blue cells are related to the blue cells, green cells to the green cells, etc. We do the same for the metastases, and if we see that the metastasis is made up predominantly of these yellow cells, we go back to the primary tumor and see what were the <coughs> yellow cells they are doing, which genes were they expressing, can we learn something? Can we uh, understand which patients may be more at risk of metastasis or can we design therapies to eradicate this population altogether and in that way remove metastatic risk for a lot of patients? Thank you very much for your attention.